lucky couples could win a dream vacation. Meet Gregory Solano and Tanya Weinmiller. He's a material handler who likes cycling and electronics. She's a student who enjoys eating and swimming. Meet Oscar Iteralda and Stephanie Otrimba. He's a police officer who likes working out and motorcycles. She's a quality control manager who enjoys shopping and traveling. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever, the new Shop Till You Drop. And here's the host of the new Shop Till You Drop, Pat Finn. Thank you. You know people in a good mood when the cameramen are going yay when I come out. Good to have you guys here. Welcome to my friends at home. We're going to have a great show for you today. First of all, Stephanie and Oscar, welcome. You two are engaged, you. right? Yes. Yes, yes. Now, how did you meet? Well, we met next to a water cooler and, oh. um, yeah, in a car repair store. Oh, mm -hmm. and a, so you just literally just met and, and was it love at first sight? Yes. Or? yes. Love at first sight. sight. That was beautiful. Oscar, you're a police officer. Did you have your uniform on at the time? No, not no, at the time. No, no. <laughs> Found out later. Okay, good. Tanya and Gregory, good to have you guys here. Thank you two you. have been together for a while now. Now, uh, they tell me your first date was rather eventful. What did, what did they mean by that? Uh, we were talking in the car so much that he ran a stop sign and we got pulled over. <laughs> really? By Oscar? By any chance? No. <laughs> well, good to have you guys here. You two won the toss. You get to go first. Come here, please. All right, let me tell you how this is going to work. Listen up, because if you want to, you can pass at this point in the game, okay. of course. Now, in this stunt, you'll be guessing the price of footwear, but you'd better use your head. I mean, literally, use your head as you're doing this. Because, as you can see, we have five different pairs of shoes stuck to five shoe-horned helmets here. And let me tell you about them. First of all, we have the cowboy boots. We have cleats. These are work boots, baby shoes, and pumps. Okay. Now, on the wall, five different prices. They range from 8 to 17 25 35 and $50. Now, Gregory, it's your job to put on the shoe helmet, dip it in the ink, run it over to the wall, and stamp the shoe prints under the price you two think is correct. And then we'll alternate, and Tanya, it'll be your turn. But if you can do this three out of five times correctly in a minute, you'll win. Okay. What do you think? Pass or play? We'll play. We'll play. Okay, good. We'll put a minute on the clock. Gregory, if you'll start here and put that helmet on. And ready, set, and start to dip. $50. Says put the cowboy boots at fifty dollars. Okay, nice mark there. Put that down there. Very good. Next one, no, go, yeah, go ahead. You can take that one next. Okay, she's working on the work books now. Work boots. Work boots. Thirty-five. Boots. Boots. That's where she's putting it. Uh, yeah, we can we can figure out what that is there. Very good. Okay, next one for you. Go ahead. You got the pumps. Seventeen dollars. Got the pumps. Seventeen dollars. Seventeen. You yeah, say put yeah, the pumps 17. at 17. Okay. Uh, you still have the, the baby shoes to do and the cleats. You got the cleats, $25 okay? Cleats. $25. Come on, $25. 25 Okay. And finally, the baby shoes. The baby shoes. $8. Time. Very good. Let's see how well you guys did. If you'll step right over here with me, please. You need three out of five right in order to do it. The last one you got to here with a little baby shoes, you said they'd be worth $8. Uh, as a parent, many times they're a lot more than $8, <laughs> but, but $8 for this particular pair would be correct. Very good. So that's one right for you. Next one here, $17. You thought it was the pumps. We can tell it's the pumps because the heel's way down here on the pumps. Well, that's actually not correct because it should be the cleats that were worth $17. That means the cleats that you have here for $25 would be incorrect because we should have had the pumps over here. So you've got one right so far. You'll need these last two right in order to do it. You put right here for $35, you put the work boots, and, and indeed it is the work boots at $35. So that means here the cowboy boots at $50, and it is the cowboy yeah. boots who did it. Very good, you guys. Back here to center court. Yeah. All right, 100 points and the chance to go shopping in our mall. Remember, one of our stores has a shopper special, so you might get a mini vacation. Here are the stores you can pick from. 24 Carats, RCA BMG Music and Video Store, Downtown Designs, Heidi's Housewares, j and Sports of All Sorts, Andrea's Art Mart, and Chuck's Department Store. What do you think? Chuck's. Chuck's. Chuck's this Department Store. Okay, please. Chuck's it is. You just won a great prize, Dean. Yeah. Decoration is easy with Village. Transforms your home with coordinating wallpaper, wall border, and decorative accessories for the home. Exclusively from Village. Retail value $500. Very good. All right, Stephanie and Oscar, it's your turn. Come with me. 
to stand right here. And uh, oh, so why don't you stay right there, Oscar? I'll put you into position okay. in just a moment as we get a chance to play. As we do this, by the way, Oscar, I know you're anxious here because uh, you know that you've heard the rumor that you're going to be putting your pucker power to work as we're yeah. doing this. <laughs> Face down in front of you are several pictures of actors. And as I say go, what's going to happen is you're going to pick up the first one and put your lips, Oscar, through the hole. Okay. At that point, Stephanie, what you'll start to do is try to have him identify who that actor is without saying any part of the name as you're doing this by giving clues. And when you think you know the actor, at this point, Oscar, you'll say, I am, say the actor's name, and you'll say, if you're right, yes, and you'll give him a kiss, Stephanie. Okay. If you're wrong, just keep guessing, okay? And we'll move on like that, but if you can correctly identify five out of eight actors in a minute, you'll win. Okay. So you'll need to move very quickly. Okay. If you need to pass along the way, you can do that, too. Okay. Stephanie, we're going to actually put you into position oh. here. Oscar, you're right there. You need to move as quickly as possible. Time on the clock. Ready, set, and go. Put it up there. Okay, give him um, he was in Michael. Um, he was an angel in Michael. Um, John Travolta. Yeah. Say I am John Travolta. Yeah, very good. John Travolta. That's okay. one. Next one. Okay. Um, he was in Contact. Come on, please. Come on. Uh, so Jodie Foster. Um, he believed in God. He was I in um, uh, Time to Go. Okay, you can pass on that one. All right. Okay. Um, Batman. Uh, okay. Um, Michael Keaton. No. Um, uh, keep going. Um, uh, yeah, the, the last Batman. We just saw the movie, sweetie. Come on, Batman. Um, we can do it. Dark hair, light skin. Uh, That's two. Okay. Move quickly. Come on, man. Okay, Come on. and um, um, he's Hispanic. Um, he was married to um, Melanie America. Griffin. No, Melanie Griffin. They just uh, had a baby. Uh, Dark hair. Um, you want to pass on that one? Pass. Pass. Okay, go to the next one. Okay. Time. She's going for Nicolas Cage on that one, Matthew McConaughey, and Antonio Banderas. Sorry. Back here to center court, you guys. No points there. You're going to get your chance at points in a moment. In fact, we all get a chance to have some more fun with more stunts coming your way after this on the new Shock and Drop. Don't go away. Or today. Here we go, it's round two for our stunts worth 200 points apiece this time. Stephanie and Oscar, you can go first, come with me. You can also pass at this point in the game if you decide that that's what you want to do. Oh, look at this mess. You two are such sloppy shoppers, I cannot believe it. We're going to blame you for this mess in aisle seven here, all right? <laughs> now, you can redeem yourself, you can clean up the mess, and we won't charge you, and you could even make some points along the way as we do this, because on our store shelf are five different products. Those products are a dehydrator, next to that an iron, toaster oven, fry pan, and a car vacuum. Now, underneath the filth on this carpet are five different prices. And as you vacuum, you'll reveal the prices, take each price, and put it above the product that's over there that you think correctly matches that price. And if you can get three out of five right in a minute, you'll win. If you play, what do you think, pass or play? We're gonna, We're gonna play. play. You're gonna play? All right, Stephanie, why don't you stand on the carpet there? Oscar, because... We guys usually make the mess. You're yeah. going to be cleaning up the mess this time around. Are you ready? We'll put the time on the clock. Okay. Set and go. Move quickly. Okay, you found the price over here already. $40. Where's she going to place? Is she placing the $40 with the toaster oven? Okay. $70 was just found. You're going to put that on the dehydrator. Okay, $25. This time is going, going to the fry pan. What a mess. Okay. Uh, the one on that side doesn't do anything for you. It's just a decoy. Sixty dollars. Where are you gonna put the sixty dollars? Put in the sixty dollars on the car back. Uh, changing that to fifty dollars on the car back. Put in sixty dollars. You've got five prices now. Just put them in the right places. You've got five prices here, so just make sure they're in the right places. You put two in the same one. You've got all the prices. Just make sure that you've got them in the places you want. Prices. You should give them two seconds. Is there anything you need to change? Now to four, three, two. Okay. Okay. Let's step around the table here. Let's see how well you did. You need to get three out of five right in order to win this as we work our way back down the table. You put $70 for the food dehydrator. 
Um, actually, dehydrators, you can get a little less from that. $40, the actual price for the dehydrator. We can't give you that one. The iron, then, you have it $40. Can't be right. The iron actually costs a total of $60. So you'd need the next three right in order to do it. Next we have here is the toaster oven. You say it's worth $60. That was actually the expensive one at $70. Over here to the fry pan, you put 25. It was 25, and the car vac, you said 50, and that was 50, but not enough to win. Sorry, guys. Back here to center court. Questions will be your thing. I know it coming up in a moment, but in the meantime, Tanya and Gregory, come over here. It's our final stunt. Just stand right here. So once you stand over here, and in a moment, I'll give you a chance to kind of run back and forth to the wall and make something happen. Now, you could probably tell me that the presidents go to the White House. They actually go to the White House after they're elected. But can you tell me where they actually came from, like which state they came from? That's what's going to happen here. On our wall are the names of eight U.S. states. Those states are Massachusetts, Texas, California, Michigan, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Hawaii, and Arkansas. Now, in a moment, I'm going to show you a picture of one of our U.S. presidents, and all you have to do is run the president over to the wall and place him next to the state he was originally from. If you can get six out of eight right in one minute, you'll win. Okay. By the way, here's a little hint. It is possible for presidents to come from the same state, okay? <laughs> Remember that part. Do you know what I mean by that? So can we put them both on the same one, then? That would, that's what that would mean. Yes, okay. you can. All right, we're going to put one minute on the clock. Ready, set, and here's your first one, George Bush. Go. Where did it come from? Uh, California. Okay, next one, Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter. Georgia. Georgia. Bill Clinton is next. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. Next one, come back to our carpet here. Gerald Ford is next. Gerald Ford. Texas? Yeah. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. Quickly. What state? Ronald Reagan. What state is he from? Ronald Reagan. Johnson, what's say Lyndon Johnson. Uh, Massachusetts. And Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. Uh, Michigan. Do we want to change any? You happy with that? You've got eight seconds left. Down to your last five. Okay. Once you stand right here, you need to get six out of eight right in order to do it. First of all, Massachusetts, you put Lyndon Johnson here, and actually John F. Kennedy, Boston accent and all, John F. Kennedy, Massachusetts, so we can't give you that one. Next one, you have from Texas, Gerald Ford and, well, George Bush and Lyndon Johnson came from there, so that would be uh, two wrong. Next one, we go over here to California. You have Ronald Reagan and George Bush. Well, Ronald Reagan is right, so we'd give you one for that one. Over here, Richard Nixon. No, Gerald Ford is from Michigan. Let's come down to Georgia. Jimmy Carter. Yes, that's right. You've got two on that one. Pennsylvania. Nope, no, no presidents from Pennsylvania. So not John F. Kennedy. Uh, you were also right in not putting anyone in Hawaii. No presidents from Hawaii. And then Bill Clinton is from Arkansas. But that's just three. Not enough to win. Sorry, you guys. Back to center court here. In a moment, they're going to answer some questions. You can play along, too, if you like, after this here on the new Shop to Drop. Please don't go away. SN. Welcome back. This is our Shoppers Challenge round. It all comes down to this. What happens over the next minute and a half will determine who will go on to shop till they drop. So good luck to both teams. Ladies, why don't you get into position here? There's a minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Does diesel make jeans, car products, or bicycles? Yes, Tanya. Car products. No, that's wrong, Stephanie. Uh, jeans. Correct. What are Planet Hollywood, TGIFs, and Cocos? Yes, Restaurants. Yes, that's correct. Are Waterford products made from wood, crystal, or gold? Yes, Stephanie. Crystal. Correct. What does a groom traditionally throw at the wedding? Yes, Oscar. Oh. No, no. Bachelor party. Uh, no, at the wedding he throws the garter. What American car manufacturer claims quality is job one? Yes, Ford. Stephanie. That's right. Does Jennifer Convertible sell cars, antiques, or sofa beds? Yes, Oscar. Sofa beds. Correct. What electronics maker manufactures the dream machine clock radios? Three seconds. 
It's Sony. On what part of her body would a woman wear fishnets? Yes, Gregory. Legs. Correct. Which city has the highest population? New York, Tokyo, or Mexico City? Yes, Tanya. New York. No. Tokyo. Steph yes, that's correct. Is Ultima 2 a brand of shampoo, perfume, or cosmetics? Yes, Oscar. Cosmetics. Correct. Is an NBA regulation basketball hoop 8, 10, or 12 feet high? Yes, Stephanie. 12. No, Tanya? 10. Yeah, that's right. Who plays Elaine Bennis on the NBC series Seinfeld? It's Julia Louis Dreyfus. Doom, Super Mario Brothers, and Star Fox are all the names of what? Tanya. Video games. Correct. Does a box labeled Fannie Mae contain apples, chocolate, or lingerie? Gregory. Chocolate. That's right. What unit of measurement applies to both cowboy hats and liquids? It's gallons. And at this point, Tanya and Gregory are in the shot to your draw. You guys almost came from behind. You were just one question off there. So very good job. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much. You can head off in that direction. Yes, you did it. They'll shot to the drop everywhere. Welcome back to you. Congratulations to you because this is your chance to get the dream vacation. To where? D. To the Bahamas. The Radisson Grand Resort on Paradise Island sits on three miles of white sand beach. A tall recreational water sports, boating, tennis, and golf, plus fine dining and night entertainment. Radisson Grand Resort. Shop for your drop travel arrangements provided by America West and Travel Savers, the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. Over 2,000 locations nationwide. Travel Savers, 800-726-SAVE. <laughs> Good luck. Minute 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, and go, Tanya. First of our boxes there, we'll find it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Take that back. And... Oh, boy. Wow. Let's see. Shoelaces untied, I was afraid you were going to trip, but you did okay, good. All right, let's work our way down the table here. We're going to see if uh, Dee's work of setting this up worked and your work of running around the mall, because we're going to try to get you guys to the Bahamas. You need $2,500 worth of stuff in these boxes, though. The greenery is first, and something you put all those greens inside of, Dee. Silas, find Swiss-made kitchen accessories for all year-round cooking indoors or out. Enjoy the high performance of superior quality products from Silas. Retail value, $259 on that one. As we go to Chuck's department store next, and inside Chuck's some luggage, hopefully for your big trip, right, Dave? Yes, Pat. Travel Pro's Cruise Series, the original rollerboard luggage used by over 200,000 airline crew members worldwide. Pilot designed, flight crew tested from Travel Pro. Retail value on this one is $340. Yeah. Mr. Gadget's the next place, and inside for the computer, this gadget, D. Add its Corel WordPerfect Suite 8. Power through your workday with the award-winning Office Suite. Communicate, collaborate, and connect to the world. WordPerfect Suite 8 from Corel. Retail value $399. That's good. $15.02 to go to go to the Bahamas. j &B sports of all sorts, and it's a basketball, D. Harvard Serious Play Mobile Basketball System. Now basketball can be portable, even for the Serious Play. The Serious Play Mobile System from Harvard. Retail value $499. Very good. Kind of makes up for, uh, did you get it or miss the, the 10 feet? No, you got the 10 feet as a question yeah, of the basketball hoop. You can set that one to exactly 10 feet if you want. <laughs> 24 carats next in our jewelry store and a watch, D. Coton's Ladies and Gents two-tone sports watches are water resistant to 150 feet, have calendars by the three position, illuminated marks around the dial, rigid turning bezel from Croton Watch Company. Retail value on this one is $500.
Okay. 503 to go in order for you guys to win the big trip to the Bahamas. Either way, you get to win all the prizes you've won on our show so far, including the stuff that you see out here. So you're going to go home with a lot of good stuff. Let's okay. see if you're also going to the Bahamas as we look inside the box from World of Discovery and a couple of books for you here. D. Brawlier's Academic American Encyclopedia. This authoritative encyclopedia provides comprehensive, up-to-date subject coverage in 21 volumes with over 9 million words from Brawlier's Incorporated. Well, we need these encyclopedias to be worth $503. The good thing about those is if you look under B, you see Bahamas. You can check out where you're going. You won the trip. Congratulations, you guys. Good job. Thank you. Cool. Thank you for being here. This is Pat Finn for D. Baker and the entire Stone Stanley family saying thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time on the new shop. Today, one of these lucky couples could win a dream vacation. Meet Gregory Solano and Tanya Weinmiller. He's a material handler who likes cycling and electronics. She's a student who enjoys eating and swimming. Meet Oscar Iteralda and Stephanie Otrimba. He's a police officer who likes working out and motorcycles. She's a quality control manager who enjoys shopping and traveling. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever, the new Shop Till You Drop. And here's the host of the new Shop Till You Drop, Pat Finn. Thank you. You know people are good when the cameramen are going yay when I come out. Good to have you guys here. Welcome to my friends at home. We're going to have a great show for you today. First of all, Stephanie and Oscar, welcome. You two are engaged, right? Yes. yes. Now, how did you meet? Well, we met next to a water cooler and, um, <laughs> in a car repair store. Oh, and a, so you just literally just met, and, and was it love at first sight? Yes. Or? yes. Love at first sight. That was beautiful. Oscar, you're a police officer. Did you have your uniform on at the time? No, not no, at the time. No, no. <laughs> Found out later. Okay, good. Tanya and Gregory, good to have you guys here. Thank you two you. have been together for a while now. Now, uh, they tell me your first date was rather eventful. What did, what did they mean by that? Uh, we were talking in the car so much that he ran a stop sign and we got pulled over. <laughs> really? By Oscar? By any chance? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, good to have you guys here. You two won the toss. You get to go first. Come here, please. All right, let me tell you how this You got the pumps? $17. Got the pumps. He's yeah, saying put yeah, the pumps 17. at 17. Yeah. Okay. All right, you still have the, the baby shoes to do and the cleats. You got the cleats, $25 okay? $25. Okay. And finally, the baby shoes. The baby shoes. $8. Time. Very good. Let's see how well you guys did. If you'll step right over here with me, please. You need three out of five right in order to do it. The last one you got, to, it'll be your turn. But if you can do this three out of five times correctly in a minute, you'll win. Okay. What do you think? Pass or play? We'll play. We'll play. Okay, good. We'll put a minute on the clock. Gregory, if you'll start here and put that helmet on. And ready, set, and start to dip. $50. Let's put the cowboy boots at $50. Okay, nice mark there. Put that down there. Very good. Next one, no, go, yeah, go ahead. You can take that one next. Okay, she's working on the work books now. $35. Work boots. $35. Work boots. $35. Stand 35. Boots. That's where she's putting it. Uh, yeah, we can, we can figure out what that is there. Very good. Okay, next one for you. Go ahead. It's going to work. Listen up, because if you want to, you can pass at this point in the game, okay. of course. Now, in this stunt, you'll be guessing the price of footwear, but you'd better use your head. I mean, literally, use your head as you're doing this. Because, as you can see, we have five different pairs of shoes stuck to five shoehorned helmets here. And let me tell you about them. First of all, we have the cowboy boots. We have cleats. These are work boots, baby shoes, and pumps. Okay. Now, on the wall, five different prices. They range from 8 to 17 25 35 and $50. Now, Gregory, it's your job to put on the shoe helmet, dip it in the ink, run it over to the wall, and stamp the shoe prints under the price you two think is correct. And then we'll alternate, and Tanya, 